Okay, let's build a Google Ads campaign for epoxy flooring estimate requests. All right, once inside your Google Ads account, if you don't have one, you should already have one set up. You can just, well, Google it, how to set up a Google Ads account and they will have everything you need to help you there. Um, but once you're inside, go ahead and click new campaign. Now you're going to click website traffic. Eventually you'll want to switch to leads, but this takes a little bit more setup <clears throat> than um, website traffic, excuse me. Um, in order for this, this objective to, to work to its full potential, your, your website basically has to have data on it. Um, you have to install a piece of code um, from Google that that code has to have the data on it, not your website, forgive me. The code that you install from Google needs to have like history. It needs to know your visitors and um, know what um, a customer looks like, essentially. Um, so there's a bunch of behaviors and um, uh, different actions that Google is able to um, organize and then identify uh, who your best customers are, who your best prospects are. So if you don't have anything and you're starting out, let's go with website traffic. Now I have this lead forms one set up here. Um, I, I read somewhere that you need to have like $50,000 in spend per month per campaign to have this. Um, we have that on our campaign, but not an, or like on our account, but not in, in an individual campaign. Um, so you're not gonna see anything here. You can just click continue. Now go ahead and click search. Just ignore everything else for right now and click search. Here, you're going to enter in your business's website and I'm using every, like doing everything from scratch. So I'm going to use the one that we, um, actually no, this one's a hospital one. <clears throat> Let's set this up here and just do, actually for the Charlotte area, but that works. Um, $20, Let's do 30. We want to focus on conversions, yes, but right now we're just doing clicks until we have enough of that data. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to click next. Um, I uncheck the Google Display Network here uh, and just do the search network. The Display net Network is going to try to show um, basically image ads, and we're just doing text-based ads here, so we're not we're not getting into that. We're not going to do that today. Um, display ads are great, but this is not what this is for uh, here. Um, so now we need to enter in our uh, target locations or where we want to target. So epoxy flooring, we're in the Charlotte area, um, but you click your location options, open it and do, let me see right here, people in or regularly in, not presence or interest. You want presence. So like you don't want people who are interested in coming to your location uh, to be able to um, search a keyword and have it show up. You want them to be there, right? So here we're gonna click uh, enter another location and I always do advanced search. So we're in Huntersville, let's do this. Click radius, do 50 miles of Huntersville, save it, perfect. Okay, we did those, English is there, good. Uh, audience segments, I, I typically don't touch these. You can mess with these if you want, you can test them, I should say, um, but I don't uh, um, at all. I just leave it as is. Um, if they're searching for the keywords that I have um, laid out, then I, I pretty well know that they're interested, so I don't need to do any audience segmenting. Um, so now to your keywords, use this. It's going to try to guess um, what keywords I should be putting in there or what I should try to bid on, basically. But I actually have a list of the most valuable keywords that I always use saved in a spreadsheet. And that way, oops, for, just kidding. This one, perfect. I'm just gonna copy all of these. I don't know if you can, I'm on my other screen, but I don't know if you can actually see it. And I am going to erase these ones and perfect, put it there. Okay, now, okay. 
my face left me a little bit. I don't know if I gotta click this around. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was just stuck in the other tab. Okay. All right, so we've got our keywords in there. It's telling me I uh, will average 14 clicks a day um, on a $30 a day budget. Um, but of course we gotta improve our ads. This is just an estimate. It's just, just based off of their, your, their formulas and calculations. Um, this is not a guarantee. This is not what you can just buy and get. This is just an estimate, of course. Um, they might even say that right here. Oh, estimates are generated for the search network only, right? Okay, so now to the ad. So we got our little ad preview here. And now this display path, we've put in our uh, our domain, huntersvilleepoxyflooring.com. And now we have these, these paths. You want to make sure that um, you include your keywords in there. It's not where your, your traffic is actually going to go. It's just another way to, to kind of decorate the URL. And you'll see right here after it says add, you'll see something pop up there. So I would type in something like... Um, <laughs> flooring contractors or something or like that. Did that pop up? Oh, it didn't. Oh, there we go. Maybe if I switch them around. I like that better. Okay, contractors. Yeah, see, it'll show contractors. Um, on there. So, like, if someone's searching for epoxy flooring contractors, I mean, come on. Like, we we want. We would love to be able to talk to them. You know what I mean? Like that's, you don't get any more specific than that. Okay, so now it loads up headlines and I wish it would take, the, it's gonna like, it's gonna ask you or like give you some suggestions. And if they're suggesting this to you, they're suggesting this to everybody. Um, these are all just very basic. Like you can see promotional phrase, phrases, best prices, unbeatable prices, great service. Like who doesn't say that big deal? You know what I mean? Like these, these things are like trust phrases right here. It has, um, exceptional service again, like just cause a company says exceptional service doesn't mean that like it's trustworthy, but people perceive it that way. So if you put that in your ads, it works. I, it, it just does. I, I, I don't know why. Okay. So our headlines, where is our, where's that ad? Where is the, that's not what I wanted to do. I want the ad preview. There we go. Okay. All right. So the headlines here, it's going to be a mix of like where it says epoxy floor, resin floors, epoxy flooring near me, and then removing the floor coating or whatever, where it has that like bar, that separator that's each of your headlines and it will randomize these headlines. For example, if this, let's say this is my company's name, Huntersville Epoxy Flooring, and I want that to only appear in this first spot ever, nowhere else, I will click this pin and show only in the first position. Then it will randomize all these other ones and uh, find the best converting combination basically. So I'm gonna put that in recommended, okay. Let's see, how are we going to do this? What I like to do is go to SpyFu if I was starting over, but I already I already have my my key, my headlines. I just don't have the them in front of me and I want to figure out go through my process just so you can see how it works, like how we how we figure these things out. Um so it says epoxy floor. That one might be better, maybe instead of epoxy flooring. Epoxy flooring near, you know what? No, let's just leave it epoxy flooring. Okay, so what I wanna find is the, um, <laughs> I need to find a, pay, a paid competitor. Someone who's paying for ads, advertiser history. I don't know why, that's what I wanted. Okay. That's what Google is, of course. Okay, so symphonyconcretecoatings.com and New Hampshire Contractor Pros.com. So, like the agra or concrete quoting quotes, that's going to be a lead gen site for sure. I, I, all of these probably are, including this one. Um, so, let's just Garage Solutions Raleigh. I'll be able to tell if it's a lead gen site.
Hmm. If this is a lead gen site, this is <laughs> very well done. So they are, um, they are running ads and I am pretty sure if I go here, you can see their ads and I'll see if it'll have it depending on how old they are, like how much history there is here. We can see what they're doing. So they're saying, okay, high quality epoxy floors, a four step transformation. Interesting. Okay. That is okay. So they're just saying high quality. It's like, if you um, ever posted an ad on Craigslist, you could, this is basically what Google ads is. It's text-based. So if you know how to um, get people to click on your links, that's all it is. Um, it's just that people, too many people don't do it. Okay. Let's see. Smart concrete coatings or epoxy specialists. Let's do this one. But I just want to see how they word their ads and like you're going to be able to see this as well. So like epoxy specialist, this is a company that literally that specializes in this lead gen and trying to generate leads and doing exactly what you want to do here. Are they just saying epoxy concrete coating service? Like <laughs> it's so simple. You just in like, don't listen to these headlines. Here, I mean, don't don't listen to them. Don't don't put these ones in. So, um, Hunter's will epoxy flooring. That. I mean, they just, so you do it. highest quality, highest quality materials. Honestly, if I just say highest quality, quality epoxy, people are going to click it. Resin. Um, you say like award-winning service. So like this, just, the, the purpose of an ad, this Google ad is just to win the click. All you want to do is get this ad to win the click. That is it. Then your landing page, it should be a landing page or your homepage, whatever your website, your landing pages job is to get the lead to then convert. And then it's your job to convert that lead into a sale. So all this here is doing is getting the click. So just bear with me. There's, <laughs> There's so many, there's a lot of different things to put in here that you can put like, um, um, extremely friendly. If you're not friendly, don't do this friendly team. Um, if you, if you are family, family owned and operated is a good one actually to put in there. Okay. Um, so the descriptions. to have my two screens open. I don't want to. Okay. I'm going to look for the ads in another one so that I can show you like, cause I have, I have the data that was working. So like I can look in spy foo and stuff like that. And I just get my ideas, but I like to see what was working. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so your description.
So, okay, you can do this. <clears throat> That'll work. I try to take up as much space as possible there. Um, And then let's see. Something like that. Now you're going to put these ads and you're going to have them run for a little bit and you're going to keep keep adding in descriptions, like keep getting variations going, keep split testing so you can find the best one. Um, and like, I would just say like every week, every two weeks, come back in there and see which one's performing better, which one's not performing as well, and just cut the ones that are not getting clicks. Um, that's the best way to do it. Okay, so you've got your ad set up there. Now it's going to um, ask you to set up some uh, extensions. Let me show go next. Okay, yep. So I have my extensions already set up. Um, oh, and these ones were disapproved anyway. Oh, it's because I had them all linking to the same one. I remember that. So these were ones that I just set up just to take up more ad space. Uh, just kind of gas yourself up. It, it uses space to uh, talk highly about your team, reference past projects, what you might have done, and um, maybe talk about how much experience you have, how many reviews you have or whatever, and just entice them to, um, to click. Um, you're, this is just your way to add more, um, more links. So right here, you would say something like, um, well, before, like award-winning service, again. You have 25 characters here and, um, You'd put an award award winning service and then describe that award winning service and then maybe have it linked to a page um, on your website that's relevant. So um, that way you can earn, win that click uh, as well. The biggest one though is your call extension. So have one set up here and just turn it on for your mobile uh, campaigns. And that way, uh, if someone's on their phone and they, they click that number, they're going to be able to call you directly rather than going to your website and, and, and getting lost that way. So people can call you directly from your ads as well. And once you hit next, we'll go through, oh, it's going to say, yeah, I could get up to three more clicks if I created extensions, but I have them pointing to the wrong link. I, I, I do have extensions set up for every one of my campaigns. I strongly recommend it. They're not needed to get started. Um, but I would have um, site link extensions on there. And once you're on this page, you kind of just review everything here. Boom, click publish um, and you're good to go. Um, so I hope that was a little somewhat helpful for you. I hope you uh, have a little confidence going through and uh, setting up your own Google Ads campaign. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below or just reach out. Happy to help and uh, get you guys going and um, get some more business in the doors. Uh, it's really easy to capitalize online. Just a lot of people don't do it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.